Hi everyone and welcome back to Starfield. This is Sedani and we are headed to uh, a planet called, or a moon, maybe it's a moon, I'm not sure, to Delvic to find uh, Heller and Barrett because they were captured by a pirate ship. So we need to go rescue them and hopefully find them in, well, at least alive. <laughs> So let's take off. Oh yeah, I was randomly exploring. Um, and we're off. Achieving orbit now. Yeah, so I explored this, I think it's a moon, um, yeah, this, uh, moon called, what is it called, Dinara, it's, it's in the same system, or is it a planet or a moon? Oh, this is, must be the planet, I did do one of the moons too, but I'm not sure which one that I actually did, Gryphus, or was the other one, POTUS. Yeah, I did that one too. Just to see what it was like and get some experience points. They were, you know, rocks, basically. Nothing too exciting. Alright, so we're going to go over to um, Dubbik. Which, it, I guess, is another moon. Um, around the planet Depala. Oh, it's a gas giant. Maybe we could go over there and scan it and get some XP points, and I don't think I did that one yet. Uh, let's, uh, can I get over there? Oh, or is it Grimsy? The pop. Uh, let's just go here. Let's set course to Dapala. Get that scanned up, and then we can, um, go over to that little moon. Maybe we could check that out too. Um, is this the uh, open planet map? Yeah, let's see if we can scan this one really quick. All right, we got it. Um, whoops, I forgot to. I'm wondering. Now I want to check out this uh, clinic. I didn't. I don't know what it is. Um, let's hail him. Okay, let's go check it out before we go to, um, find Heller and Barrett. Maybe they'll have some um, med, paths, mac, med packs or something that we can uh, uh, buy. Just want to check it out. Probably take just a couple minutes. So, where to next? Captain Archer, greetings. Hello, Vasco. Ma'am, I'm just the courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Oh. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. 
Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Hey there. Courier? It's a grav drive. I literally can't get here any faster. Hmm. Well... Oh, what's over here? <gasps> we found a... Ooh, we found a Constellation Guide 04. Permanently uses 15% less O2 while moving when over encumbered. Hmm, which I am, apparently, most of the time. Well, that was nice. Well, I'm glad we visited this clinic. Anything else going on here? I guess we could talk to... Talk to folks. Thanks for delivering critical supplies would be nice to hear once in a while. Well, you were late, you know. People died. Trade Authority Kiosk. Ooh, cool. Hey, what can I do for you? Ship Services Technician. Nothing right now. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's a space station that has all sorts of... Run. Can't ever get here fast enough. Ugh, stop complaining. It's part of the job. What? Um... Well, I wonder why they have a clinic way out in the middle of nowhere. Hello. Maybe I should have just gone to Aquila City. It's probably nothing. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't want to know. I'm probably fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sure you're fine. Just a little constipated. Um, hello. You know, just by breathing the air in here, you are being exposed to about a dozen different viruses. I'm kidding. Probably. Okay. That's you had fun. a chance to talk to Dr. Cassidy. Really fun guy. Dry humor, though. So dry. Might almost think he's non existent. Okay. Thanks. Hello. This place is a far cry from Aquila City. That's for sure. Oh, okay. We get the cases no one has ever seen before or doesn't know how to treat. Uh, do you ever get a break? I guess that depends on what you consider a break. We get some time to ourselves. We're not on call all the time, but we're never that far away from it either. Mm. Now that I think about it, I haven't actually left the clinic since I got the job. I actually hadn't really noticed. Um, do you ever get homesick? No, not really. This is my home now. The people here are wonderful, and the work we're doing is incredibly important. That's what really matters. Uh, are you new here? New-ish. I've only been here a year, which, well, when you compare it against Dr. Darvish's career, it's not much, is it? I'm thrilled to have the opportunity, but it's been an adjustment. Very few cases here are simple, and most of them are medical emergencies. Oh, okay. Well, get some rest. Okay, then. Oh, here's the guy. Uh, There's hello. such a mountain of work. I could really use a hand. But I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Dr. Darvish took a chance on me, hiring me fresh out of training. Need to make sure she doesn't regret it. Uh, what's your role here? Tending physician. I'm new here, so... Really, what I do is watch Dr. Darvish's every move and... try to imitate it. Sounds a lot less impressive when I say it out loud. <laughs> yeah. So who puts a hospital in space? It's really a matter of safety, believe it or not. The types of things we work with here... Let's just say you wouldn't want them spreading on a populated planet. In here, we're all nice and isolated, just in case. Not the most comforting thought, but it's the truth. Oh. Um... I don't know if I can really help out. Well... Let's just... If I can help out, let me know. Oh, well, that's appreciated. There really isn't anything you're qualified to do in here. No offense, of course. And yeah, untaken. Oh. Hmm. I do have some data requests from other facilities in the Settled Systems. Everyone always wants to know what we're up to. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. So if you could get this slate where it needs to go, that would help us. And put a few credits in your pocket. Well, sure. No problem. Talk to you later. See you later. Yeah. I think this Nurse is... Nurse Eddie? Abby? Hi. 
How are you, uh, doing okay? Hi, Dr. Salvato. I'm... I'm doing okay. You? Oh, Private you sector. Know, we just... That's where the real... Hanging in there? Oh, for my good. I'm glad. Well, I should... You know, there's work to do. Hello. It's encouraging to know that every case we cure here likely means dozens or hundreds more can be saved in the future. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you? This is a medical facility? I thought perhaps the name gave it away. This is one of the preeminent medical care centers in the Settle Systems. We take our work very seriously. Okay. Well, I was just looking around. This is hardly the sort of place one comes to sightsee. Well. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care. And sometimes require unorthodox or experimental treatments. Mm -hmm. We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself. But it doesn't leave room for much else. I see. Now, I will not insist that you leave. But if you are intent on looking around, as you put it, please don't interfere with our work and keep your distance from our patients. All right, all right. Mm. You, men you mentioned astrovirology. What is that? There are hundreds, if not thousands, of new worlds that humanity has set foot on. While many don't host some sort of life, there are more than enough that do. Any one of those worlds could be inhabited by all manner of pathogens. Things we've never seen and have no idea how to treat. Someone has to try and stay ahead of what could be a very deadly curve. Here at the clinic, we do our best. Okay. I'm glad I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds a bit dangerous. If we do it right, no, not usually. An abundance of safety protocols are in place, and we have decades of experience. Ironically, this may be one of the safest environments in the Settle Systems. Hmm. Can I help you with your research? Would you now? Well, I suppose we could always use additional research specimens. The more data we have about what's out there in the Settle Systems, the faster we can diagnose novel illnesses. In theory, at least. Hmm. I suppose we could consider you an independent contractor of sorts. You could. We keep a database of known alien sedatives, but more data points are always welcome. If you could provide some samples, it would be appreciated. Sure, no problem. Uh, you're in charge here, I, I take it? Oh, where do I find the resources you need? What we're looking <clears throat> for are basic organic substances. They could come from any number of flora or fauna on countless worlds across the settled systems. Okay. Just keep your eyes open as you travel and harvest things when you find them. Got it. Okay. Or frankly, if you can find them at a reasonable price somewhere, purchase them. I'm less concerned with the source than the materials themselves. Got it. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Got ourselves a little activities. Who are, who are you? Harry Miller. When I told them I was good with computers, I didn't think they'd trust me with the entire clinic. Um, you work on... <laughs> I'm talking to the back of your head. Uh, what's... Uh, you work on computers full-time? Well, yeah, somebody has to. It's great medical care, but not the latest in support tech. Funding only goes so far, and most of it's prioritized for keeping patients alive. I see. And there's still a lot of outdated UC tech behind the walls that needs interfacing, so <laughs> I stay plenty busy. Gotcha. It could be something amazing or something horrifying. It's secure for a reason. Seems like they should need to worry about it just upgrade and get things automated. To, so well, then I'd be out of job, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. You're not All entirely wrong, though. But someone would have to convince Dr. Darvish it was a priority, and I gave up on that effort years ago. I see. Okay. So what's the story with this place? Oh, you're not familiar? No. I'll give you the quick version. UC built the station back in 2194. It was outside of their established territory, which caused a bit of a disagreement and a bit of a war. And after what I think most people would agree was much too long a period of time, the war ends. One of the terms was the station was handed over to the Free Star Collective. Well, it's a little ironic that a war would be fought over a place dedicated to saving lives? Huh. Never really thought about it that way. 
Guess you're right. Although, is that really irony? I feel like I don't really understand what qualifies. So uh, since then, the that. clinic's been under Freestar collective control. Over a hundred years now, I think. Over time, it started to focus more on weird things. People picked up on all sorts of planets and space expeditions, became known for it, and now focuses on it almost exclusively. Oh, I see. Oh, and okay. here we are today, carrying on that work. Actually makes me feel kind of proud when I lay it all out like that. It was good. See you later. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Running this facility is a challenge, even when there isn't an outbreak of some sort. Freestyle. You didn't hear this from me. But those ecliptic mercenaries? The factions use them sometimes. Freestar Collective and UC both. It's why they give Holy them a wide berth. I do. Ask me? Yeah, I'm those good. Those murdering assholes should be Thanks blasted for into space dust. Really, you don't need to worry. I've got a year under my belt, and I'm pretty settled. One year behind you, a whole career to go. <laughs> Every You're new alien just pathogen great. we discover is just a little more job security. Gotta look on the bright side, right? Thanks, Daniel. Oh, who are you? You, you need anything. Sick. Just say the word. One of the docs will get you right as rain in no time. Are you the courier? You're not really supposed to be back here. You can just drop the delivery off by the docking port and someone will take care of it. Set of trials has been collated and Are there a lot of couriers coming through here? Well, sure. We can't afford to run low on supplies. Never know what kind of medical emergency might pop up at any moment. Okay, well, I'm not a courier. Well, then you won't have Dr. Darvish breathing down your neck, at least. But, well, we're not really set up for having folks just milling about in here. It is a medical facility, after all. If you could just do your best to steer clear of the doctors while they work and not interrupt things, I'd really appreciate it. And if you need anything, I'm right here, okay? Okay. So, um, you're not a doctor? Nurse supervisor, dear. I'm the one who takes care of all the doctors, as well as the patients. The more I can look after, the more the doctors can focus on patient diagnosis and treatment. Every role here is important. Okay, well, this must be an exciting place to work. Oh, sometimes, sure. Somebody walks in or is dragged in with something we haven't seen before. You best believe it's all hands on deck. Have to find out if it's lethal or contagious, or both. Mm, that's a lot of pressure. It can be, yes. But we've all learned to live with it. If we didn't do this, who knows how many lives would be lost. It's harder on the newer folks, that's for sure. You take that Dr. Salvato, nice man, but he's a little on the skittish side. He's a good doctor, but just needs a little more confidence, you know? Hmm. I know how he must feel. It can be hard to build confidence in a new role. Don't I know it? I just hope Dr. Salvato knows how much we appreciate his hard work. Actually, now that we're talking about this, I wanted to do something nice for him. Give him a little pick-me-up. I overheard something about a meal he hadn't had in a long time. Thought maybe if I could deliver one to him, it'd be a nice gesture. You think you could help with that? Maybe. Um, sure, I'm at your service. Aren't you just the sweetest? You know that Don's Roost restaurant in New Atlantis? The fancy mm. one? Dr. Salvato was talking about the synth liver pate. Said he'd never forget it. You bring me a plate and I'll make sure we brighten up his day. Okay. I don't, have I been to that one? I don't recall the name. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor? <laughs> Mothers. How are you? All right? Sure. Files are updated. These poor people. I can't imagine suffering from something no one understands. It must be terribly frightening for them. Well, there's nobody in here, so... Yeah, we're just poking around. Is this a patient? This must be a patient. Excuse me, but this is my private room. Okay, sorry. Ooh. 
these are rooms. Okay, we're not gonna go in there. We might catch something. Oh dear. Who's this person? Just one week without something weird. That's not too much to ask. Maybe not. You know, there are more couriers coming and going from this place than patients most of the time. Guess that's a good thing. That's kind of weird. Wouldn't mind getting assigned to one of those research programs. I hear the pay is better. Hmm. What's the worst case? What's the worst case you've seen here? Oh, we're not really supposed to talk about that kind of thing. Doctor-patient confidentiality and all that. Hmm. Doctor Darvish is pretty strict about that. Well, about everything, but definitely that. Gotcha. All right. Well, do you like working here? Oh, sure. Everyone is really great. Top of their game, medically speaking. I've learned so much these last few years. I try not to take any of it for granted. This career, helping people, it really means something. If you say so. Back to work, then. Yeah. Hmm. Marshmallow treats. Okay, well. Hi, Abby. Uh, are things, I mean... <laughs> Uh, how are things? Ocean, hi. Um, Dr. Sofa. I mean, sorry. I, I, I'm good. VIP wing. Is this locked? Yeah. Hmm. Hi, how you doing? Hi, thanks. Jesus. Do you have any clue how irresponsible you're acting right now? It was a heat leech. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? Well, you could actually stand up and work. Huh. It's in here. Door locked. Hmm. All right, well. Maybe? I can't get over! Oh, that's stupid. So there's offices and break rooms and kitchen, but I didn't see any place for everybody to sleep. There's a bathroom. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I think we've done enough. You're out there a lot, here. right? Space. Just do us all a favor and never turn into one of those spacers. Scum of the galaxy. Robbing, stealing, killing. Even the Crimson Fleet doesn't trust them. Gotcha. I think we're safe. Thanks for delivering critical supplies. Would be nice to hear once in a while. Oh, stop. Hello. Head out. Got a few it's little tasks good to be to back do. on board. Yeah. All right. Let's go find. Good luck finding guys. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. Yep, we're on it. 
We're gonna do that right now. I guess I have to get out of the way here. Um, it keeps wanting me to go to the clinic. Delvic. I think that's... Let's go here. I'm pretty sure that's where Heller and Barrett are. Memory sometimes isn't... Oh, what the heck is this? Stroud Eklund Starrier. Oh. Huh. Hello. Stroud Eklund is open for business. Come aboard and let's see about getting you a solid upgrade. Sure. <laughs> Maybe we can... I don't know. Oops, slow down, slow down. I'm gonna hit the dock. Here we are. So, we're just visiting space stations today because we keep running into them. <laughs> Why not? Heller, can, Heller and Barrett can wait for a sec. <laughs> They're probably fine. I hope not. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and board and check out. Maybe they could do something for our spaceship. Probably not. But um, ooh, this is cool. Good day, Captain. Hello, Archer. I mean, um, hello, Vasco. I'm Walter proud to be part Stroud. of the Stroud Eklund and team. On behalf of Stroud Eklund, welcome. In our new state-of-the-art Star Yard. We are creating revolutionary new starships at prices that are out of this world. Oh, does that mean they're this super This is the Star Yard Walter can't stop talking about. I can certainly see why. It's a monumental operation. Wow. Maybe Let we should me know talk if you have any problems. Sure, no problem. Stroud oh. Eklund may be new, but it has allowed us to learn from the others. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the premier star yard in the Settled Systems. We may be new, but I think you'll see why everyone's talking about us. Okay. Well, your star yard looks very impressive. Thank you. So, what sort of ship are you looking for? One that I can afford. Um, are the ships here better than at other star yards? In my opinion, yes. Trident and Tayo both value style over substance in their own way. Deimos is positively ancient, very set in their ways, and Hope Tech? Well, you don't look like you want a space barge. Oh, okay. Well, let's see your ships then. Let me show you our stock. Ooh. I can't afford that one, but that one looks pretty darn cool. I can jump 25 light years. Cargo capacity is a lot more than what I got right now. 710, but not a lot, lot. Is this a f is this a oh, it's a... I don't know if I can uh, actually B. I don't think I can do a B. That looks pretty cool. One to keep it in mind. Ooh. Narcissist. This is an A. I definitely can't. But that jumps quite a bit. I think these are Galileo. A -O. Galileo. Oh no, I can do A's, right? I can't afford these anyway. I like the looks of this one, but um, it doesn't have enough cargo for me. This one must definitely other also be a um maybe it's a warship. I'm not sure. This one might be an explorer type of ship, right? Oh, look at this one. Whoa, this is a cargo ship. Holy cow. Oh my. 
way out of our league. Warwolf. Oh, yep, another, um... Combat ship, maybe? Cargo capacity is like nothing, but the hull is... seems pretty impressive. Maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I really need to nurse this. Hmm. Yeah, I can't afford these anyway, so it doesn't matter. Privateer. Or maybe this one would be a better kind of explorer type ship, like a scout. Crew of four, shield five, seventy. I like to jump pieces of it. Light years. Sorry, I can't afford it. Thank you. I'm just gonna wander around a little bit. Everything's so new here. Okay. Yeah, these ships are nice, but compared to a trident? <laughs> Welcome to Stroud Eklund. Okay. I came out of curiosity, but some of his packs. Impressive. Yeah, looks nice. Okay, well. It must have cost a fortune to build this place so fast. Uh, I don't know. What's in here? It's like a board meeting going on. Hello. Just me being nosy. Huh. Door. <laughs> Clean your sp spacesuit after each use. Huh. It's just another dock, I assume. Docking, yeah, the dock. Hmm. Research lab. Abishaw's in the showroom if you're ready to buy. Okay, thanks. Break room. Too many people working. Security training. This is a reminder to all employees that security training is mandatory and must be completed by the end of the month. Quarterly update from leadership. As you should all be aware, our quarterly meeting is fast approaching. Attendance is not mandatory, but secure connections are required. We, re we encourage anyone who wishes to contact IT oh, to join. We encourage anyone who wishes to join to contact IT to confirm their setup is secure. And press inquiries from public relations. We know the press has recently reached out to several members of our staff. Should you be contacted, please reach out to a public relation, relations representative before responding in order to avoid any unforeseen repercussions. Yep, sounds about right. Oh, 
no. <laughs> okay, cup holders, doesn't work in space, gold trim, auto spa, walk-in closet, walk-in refrigerator, climate controlled wine cellar, aromatherapy units, luxury memory foam, 360 degree, gyro, gyro stabilized sleep pod. much going on. No, there's not. It's there. Okay, well. Let's walk in on the meeting. Hello, folks. I guess they're not talking. This is the R&D department. Are you looking for the showroom? It's back that way. Sorry, excuse me, but we're in a meeting? Okay, got it. Alright, well, that was fun. But I guess we if we wanted... State of the art R &D department here. Uh, so I saw they were in a meeting. Yeah, so we'll need to uh, maybe hop back up here when we... Uh... Hello, Captain. Hello, Vasco. Let's go. Oh, recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck Can't getting distracted. Can't believe snuck a transmission to us. He always finds a way. It's just Can't... amazing like that. All right, let's see if we can like not get distracted and go on into our main mission. That was cool. We've detached. Um, let's get out of here. Yep. Uh, let me just move forward before I damage the ship. There's the planet. Alright. Uh, it's an extreme environment. Oh, there's the crash ship. Um, Alright. Let's land. See what we can find. <laughs> Beginning landing cycle. Great. Let's exit the ship and head out and Greetings, Captain. There's something over there. Where? Oh, is it over there? It's a structure. And something's landing over there. Oh, Heller's over there. How, or Barrett and Heller. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I know it's a structure. Hmm. Well, let's go and... Oh, lots of sights here today. Lots of structures. Must be they're all kind of... Uh, I'm assuming pharmaceutical, but they might be mining. Um... Oh, I love low gravity. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm floating on air. Okay, Sarah. You do you. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Oh, that's the structure we were looking at earlier. Okay. Oh, we got one resource. Got some water. it over there and see. They were landing pretty close to where we needed to 
maybe it's okay. Make sure they're not pirates or anything. Um, do I see them? Oh, maybe they're further off than I... Oh yeah, they're way over there. Okay, no problem. Okay. Um, oh, there's a body. Heller. Heller, what you doing? Have to get closer. Oh, oh, hey, it's you. In here, I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Um, <laughs> I'm a hallucination, Heller. Your last thoughts are apparently of me. <laughs> uh, you see, I laugh, but I'm on a lot of meds. Trying to just <laughs> mellows everything. Don't make things worse than they already are for this poor man. Oh, man. Darn, I, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board <clears throat> that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Hmm. So that doesn't really explain the crash ship. I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot somebody he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. The pilot? <laughs> Through to the flight console. The flight console. Oh my and god. Dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. Mm. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Hmm. He, ah. Uh... He really survived the crash without a scratch? Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? Okay, all right. Okay, Barrett isn't here, Heller. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. Hmm. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. Okay, so they took him. Do you know why? I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. Okay, the Crimson Fleet has them again. I was drifting in and out, but, yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, 
I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's get you on your feet first. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Hmm. All right, let's listen to the emergency trans um, transcript or whatever it is. Um, I think it's in notes, huh? Emergency. Wait a second. Don't pop. Uh, must be the emergency transmission too. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Hmm. Okay. Um... Oh, okay, so there we now we get to travel to vessel vessel three. Um Alright, hello, let's head out. Poor guy. Freezing. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? Yeah. I gotta get off this rock. You're an outpost, dude. Yeah, let's get going. Whew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Uh... Well, I don't have any assignments, but, uh... You can still come along. Let's go. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. He's an outpost person, so that's fine. He and Lynn. I have to find an outpost. Place to put an outpost on, though. I haven't gotten to that yet. Ooh, low gravity. Um, let's see. Oh, I have one more resource to find. And a special trait. So I think what I'm going to do is finish surveying this planet. Um, let's, let's head back to our ship. And um, oh, this must be a resource right here. We haven't got yet Cassium. Um, but I do want to find the trait to scan that. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Okay, so we got all the resources. Now I just have to find a trait. Um, those are usually life signs, I think. Um, we have to travel to a different part of the planet. Come on, Heller. Get your button gear. And then we'll head off to see Barrett. So I'm going to pause here, finish um, exploring. And then we'll head out to what appears to be a pirate um, outpost. I wonder what that thing right there is. I want to go there. That looks pretty cool. All right. To be continued. Be right back.